Good morning. I am coming to you from Sebring, Florida this morning. We are here at Highlands Hammock State Park. This is a state park we've been to a couple of times in the past. It's one of our favorite state parks, but we're actually here to vlog it now as part of our state park series. You also see on the sign behind me, it's the home of the CCC Museum, which I don't think we've ever been to that because I think every time we've come that's been closed. So I'm looking forward to seeing that and checking that out. All right, let's go check out the state park so I can show you guys what there is to do here. It's a cool state park, so you're going to want to stay tuned. All right, let's go make some memories. Okay, so summer hours, Monday's closed, Tuesdays and through Thursdays, 10 to 4, 9 to 5, Friday through Sunday, tram schedule. But you do see there is a tram over here. We've never taken it, but there is a tram that takes you around the park, but we found that you can just walk and park and drive everywhere pretty easily. Try our famous sour orange pie and ice cream, firewood and ice available, restrooms outside the store around the building that way. We're going to go check those out too in a second. Ah, cute little store. Ooh, look at this. Hey. Giant tortoise, look at his shell. Oh my god. Wow. That's huge. Is that literal? That's true. The species of tortoise is one of the largest land turtles in the world. It became I mean, it was widespread over North America, but eventually became restricted this is to the my southeast. Hand. Yeah. Look at that thing. That's huge. Big as us. It says this fossil tortoise was unearthed here in Highlands Hammock Park in the 1930s. This species became extinct at the end of the Ice Age around 10,000 years ago. Ooh, cool. Look at that. There's a bobcat. And then look at this black bear. Wow. Cool. I saw little games. Ooh, look at this guy. Ooh. Yeah, push pups. Look, is this the orange ice cream? Is that it? Orange vanilla twist. Key, K is key lime. Oh, a cute little store for the campground or anybody can come in here and shop. Aim and Flames. No muscadine. Muscadine. No muscadine. This is blueberry lemon. Blueberry lemon. That sounds good. We just came out of the restroom, so the restrooms are very clean, very well maintained. Stocked up well on paper towels and toilet paper. And then one thing I forgot to mention was it was $6, the admission fee. The admission fee was $6 to get in for the car, so it was $3 a person since it's just the two of us that I... Not bad. It's a very cool park. Alright, so inside the little gift shop we did buy this for Tori's brother. Everglades Cactus Dust barbecue robe. Hopefully he'll like that. And we also tried the thing that they mentioned, that they're sour orange pie, so... This size is $2.99. It's small, but... Sour orange pie. Let's see how it is. Let's try it. It's, it's, it's frozen. Gotta let it thaw. But at least it's fresh, he said. Well, it's good. It's like... Sour? It's a little sour. I don't even know orange. if that's considered sour. It's really good because it has like a... Maybe cream cheese? I don't know. It's really good. It's like key lime pie, but in orange. It's good. Interesting. Yeah, we'll have to try when it thaws out a little. Yep. So over here is the store that we were just in, the hammock store. And then right in this grassy area in between, you see there's a stage here. It says music in the park. They do, you can set up seats here, lawn chairs, whatever, blankets. 
listen to the music. Um, not sure exactly what all is that way. I have to go and check it out. But the cool thing is, the CCC Museum that I mentioned to you guys earlier, at the entrance, that's what this building is right here. It's open from 9 to 5. CCC Museum dedicated to the Civilian Conservation Corps, which took place between 1933 and 1942. So this says dedicated to the memory of Emo Billet Sr. and other countless CCC enrollees who were injured, disabled, or lost their lives in the performances of their duty. We especially remember the 228 members who perished during a hurricane in the Upper Keys, Florida, 1935. Alright, let's see what we got inside here. Ooh, old Coke bottle up there. Check that out. CCC Forestry Book. Oh, look at this cool picture of Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig. Great Depression, the New Deal. Fireside chats with FDR. He was president when the CCCs were at the height. It was during his presidency. Oh, here we go. It says, nine years in Florida, close to 50,000 young men from poverty-stricken families were given wholesome employment and their families were paid $25 per month. We were permitted them to live through the worst the depression that our nation has ever endured. I have a stage here too. I'm not quite sure what to use the stage for. Maybe there's a movie or something. Here's what they're, the surgeon's case down here. An old typewriter, that's cool. Ooh, Florida Cavern State Park in Mariana. We've been there before too. We're actually planning a return trip pretty soon there. This is how it looked when, where they would sleep. Very cool museum, very well done. Lots of good info in here. Hope you guys enjoyed the little visit through here. Now let's go check out the rest of the park. So the first trail we came to leave in the CCC Museum was this Alexander Blair Big Oak Trail. It says 0.2 miles, 15 minute walk. The shortest of the 11 trails leads to one of the largest trees in the park known as the Big Oak. The girth of this oak measured 36 feet in the 1930s. All right, let's go take a walk down that trail and go see. So we pulled off and stopped right over here. This is the Wild Orange Grove Trail. The Alexander Blair Big Oak Trail. This is the one that takes us to that old oak tree. It's like huge. I remember we hiked this before. I hope we walked the right way. I don't remember this path being that long. Like maybe you're supposed to park on the other side of the road and walk and this. Name it I know. Nope, there it is. There's the tree. I remember this. I was going to say, I know it's not far. They said this trail was only like a 0.2 miles or something. But on this side, there's even a bench here too. It's not a long trail, but there's even a bench if you need to rest. Look at the size of this old oak. And it's huge. Look at this thing, it's huge. When we were in the Sheldon Church in South Carolina, we saw an oak tree. If you go back, I'll put the link to that video up above right now so you can click on it. The Sheldon Church ruins, we saw an old tree there and it had what looked like bricks like this there. And I even made the comment, I said, was somebody behind those bricks or was it just there to stabilize the tree? I guess it was to stabilize the tree. There goes my theory of someone living inside the tree. Oh well. I mean, it kind of looks like walk around the back of the tree here. Oh yeah, there's more of those bricks over here on this side. There's lizards going up the tree. Those of you who aren't from Florida, I know some people even who live here who get spooked by those lizards. They're so common here, we have them all over, like in, when you go outside in your backyard, when you go to cut the grass, you see them everywhere. I've even had them in my office at work before. That I haven't had, that was a bee. I'm sure you guys probably heard that buzzing. And see, there's a trail that goes this way. Because when you go into this park, there's a it's like a looping road that you drive around. We're, they haven't even gotten to the loop yet. We're just starting off. So I'm guessing if you're on the other side of the loop, maybe you can walk this trail here. Or this might be part of that orange trail. I don't know. Something's eating up this. Maybe termites or something. This wood that's on the ground here. Did you hear the bird? That wasn't you? No. This says the story of Highlands Hammock. It says, in 1881, Jonathan Skipper settled in this forest known as Hooker's Hammock. He and his wife, Letitia, purchased claim to the property, cleared land for their home, planted orange trees, and built livestock holding pens. He also gave five acres of land to his cousin, Cordy, and her husband, W.L. Island, to ensure going, ongoing help. 
Jonathan Lentice had 10 kids and their extended family rounded cattle for the market and herded them to Cuban-bound ships on Florida's west coast. Interesting. By 1920, Jonathan's son owned several hundred acres of this hammock. In 1929, and this was Jonathan, by the way. That's him there. This hammock's botanical wonders inspired ideas about creating a national park here. Those plans floundered, but the idea to create this park continued, funded by private donations. This whole area here where you see these new trees that are planted, that are covered, none of those were here before. And the reason why they cover those trees is to make sure that they don't get infected by, you know, eaten up by like insects and different things that can cause them damage when they're young. They gotta let them get to a certain point first before they can leave them uncovered. It's the one that's right here. It says it's named for its beautiful pig nut hickory trees. This trail features a narrow catwalk and is the only trail that crosses the loop road. It connects to the Fern Garden Big Oak Trails. Big Oak is the one we just did. The trail also opens up into the historic Orange Grove, which I think is where I just was at. Check out this tree. It's huge. And see, this is probably what they were saying about how they hollowed it out. Yeah. See how it's dark here? Huh. Hickory Trail. One time when we were at this park a long time ago, we were with Tori's mom and our daughter when she was real little. And I remember us pushing the stroller through here. And this was the trail where we heard all the noise. We heard like a growling right next to the trail and we all panicked. We don't know what it was still to this day. And we took off in the direction we're walking right now. I remember this. Okay, who we found this little guy. Seems like he's looking for something. We're just trying to cross the road or the trail. Hmm. What do you hmm. think it is? A beetle? It's a beetle. I just don't know what type. There's thousands of beetles, I think. I am not a bug person. I don't know. So we weren't really paying attention when we did the trail originally the hickory nut or hickory trail we went on that side because we saw the sign but it's technically this one that we want to do this one's the one with the catwalk on it supposedly the other one just leads you back to the, the groves that he just showed the orange groves and if you keep going it leads you to the big oak so yeah, the big oak trail we saw that so this is the way we wanted to go we didn't see much the other way because we had already done it so it's just trees but we'll see what this one leads to Hopefully the catwalk is nice. This one, I don't think we've seen much. Other than the, What's the big oak. Huh? What's a catwalk? Like a boardwalk, isn't it? But I think what makes it a catwalk, I don't think it has railings. Hmm. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll find out too hmm. in just a few minutes. But it does thought, say catwalk, so. I thought it was a trail where you heard cat noises. Meow, meow. Oh, cool, it's a catwalk. Meow. If you turn right, there's a so dog walk. So how about walk. a dog walk? <laughs> 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 What's wrong with us? I know. But anyway. Hopefully you're still watching. <laughs> no, they, they tuned out. We this made it to that. Right. Luckily it hasn't rained. This is the one. This one leads to Fern Garden, you said? I think. To Fern Garden Trail, yes. Okay. And this is the only park trail that crosses the looping road. Hmm. As you saw when we started. So we have to do this on our way back because it's not a loop. Hmm. So we'll keep an eye out, see if we see any wildlife. We've already seen a deer. Wasn't even on the trails yet. Beetle. Beetle. Bees. Flies. Bees and flies. Mosquito. <laughs> and maybe a squirrel. I think I saw a squirrel. I'm pretty sure on our previous visit to this park, this is where we saw an alligator. Well, we're talking too much too. We're gonna scare every wild dove away. Okay, see? Hickory trail this way. And then this is Fern Garden. Fern Garden trail this way. Well, let's go left. left. And then we'll come back. I suppose. That way we're not We should, we should be carrying out a map around. Okay. Yeah, we'll, well, anyway. We'll record anything else we see. Shh. Let's be quiet. It's so noisy. Huh? <laughs> Nothing. This dragonfly. I hear a cricket. I hear a bird. There's the cricket again. Or locust. I know my crickets. Crickety cricket. The one you hear right now, his name is Claude Cricket. It says animals you may see. It says panthers, bobcats, deer, bears, foxes, raccoons, otters, and squirrels. We've seen a squirrel and a deer so far. I'm okay with not seeing a panther or a bobcat. I'm okay with that. Or a bear. Yeah, a bear too. I'd see a raccoon. Yeah, or a little otter. Or a fox. 
It says this watery forest was born from a slow moving creek whose water rise and fall year after year, flooding the shallow banks and then withdrawing. Here, brown water reflects the tall trees, Spanish moss, and clouds in the sky. Let's go see it. Please do not feed the wildlife. No dogs on the boardwalk. Because it's a catwalk. <laughs> like, <Hopefully>. duh. <laughs> And then it says, Historic Catwalk. The 1930s catwalk is on the National Register of Historic Places for those uncomfortable using this historic narrow and single railed walkway. Please stay on the modernized boardwalk. Pets are not allowed on the boardwalk or catwalk. Huh. So there is a difference between boardwalk and catwalk. Yet the other one said catwalk, but it looked like a boardwalk. And then, uh, okay. caution for gators. We haven't seen one yet. Which is pretty strange, but I guess maybe it's the lack of water. Might be keeping them further out, looking on the water side, maybe. But, yeah, here we go. The so, catwalk, it says, is a one rail, narrow. I remember that. I, I like the, the feel of the adventure of that, you know? Mm. So I will not be using the boardwalk. Especially since it's just you and me. Look at this view. There's another couple that was in the parking lot cussing and fussing at each other and I saw them getting out so they may be heading this way oh, damn it. Not... yeah as she says damn it <laughs> so pretty I was saying how I love her. look at that that's so pretty I don't know how that comes up on camera but it looks pretty it almost feels wow. like you're in like the Pacific Northwest right yeah this one is special this one is definitely the one to come to what's this one called again cypress swamp trail cypress swamp trail it's all the way in the back of the i was loop. saying you can see how the light reflects off the leaves on the trees and they're just so tall and thin and this one's special i love this one a half a mile this trail and it's all the way at the back when you're driving the loop around the park it's basically at the back right where the loop starts to circle back towards the front of the park and so it's the last one so I know we say it seems like you're not in Florida a lot, and obviously we are in Florida, and we've seen all these different things in Florida, so that's, I guess, what is Florida. It's what makes Florida, Florida. It's unique. Everybody thinks it's just flat land, beaches, Disney theme parks. That's the reason why we're showing you all these state parks, because there's so much more of Florida to come and explore and enjoy. You can hear some birds checking us out, having a conversation. Hello, fellas. Yeah, I know. This is nature's version of Twitter. Tweet away, tweet away. No hard feelings. But no, if you are watching our state park series, our state park videos, like I said, there's bound to be some that are kind of repetitive. This one here is unique. All right, this is so cool. Now we're getting to where it's a little more swampier. The ground is wet here. There is moisture down there. And this is where the trail gets a little trickier. It tells you to watch out for gators. Because being that there's water, there's bound to be some. So see, look at the difference. This is the boardwalk. You saw us walking. There's a bench if you want to rest. You come through here and turn. Now this is where it gets, I guess if you're scared of heights a little bit, you might be a little hesitant, but there is a railing on the one side, but it's open. Yeah, the rain's been a little lighter as of recent, so it's been able to recede a little bit. I can hear some other people way up there. That bridge up there where those other people are, I think, is where you took the photo with your mom looking back this yeah, way. Yeah, I think so. Exciting. All right, so we're going to attempt to walk across this. This is fun. Yeah. There's a little give to the wood, too, so it kind of feels yeah. bouncy. <laughs> yeah. And you can see right here up above, there's a little area. I guess I'll call it a rest area. I guess I'll call it a little rest area there. Yeah. The bench and a little pull-off area. Oh, there's a gator. Oh, right there, the baby, two of them. Where? Oh, they right there. are. There's one in the water, right one behind. On there's two. Oh, this one's bathing in it. I don't know. They're the other not going right to be able to see it. Smaller. Let's see. Oh, there's a third one over there. There's three. They're right, right 
there. I'll try to zoom in on it more when I edit it. There's two babies, they're babies, and I'm sure mama's somewhere <laughs> nearby. Oh, there's there, there it is, there's the mama. You see it? Oh my God, Dan, come on. Oh my God, yeah, I'm gonna get these little ones too. <laughs> I see it. Wow. And all the babies. You see all the babies around it? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Mama had some babies. And the babies. Here it is, guys. Here's your gator. And the fishies around. There's fishies in the water. It's so gorgeous here. Now this trail I really enjoy. But I told you that the gator would be by the water more than likely. And that makes sense. Source of life, right? Water. The view over there. Oh, I have to zoom back out, guys. Look at that, guys. And Gator Mama's still there. See, she's down there. Okay, you guys might not get to see them very well, but there's woodpeckers. There's one on that palm right there, and there's one on that palm yeah, the right there with the red head. The one on this one over here, that's Woody. Yeah, it just flew off. Woody just took off because we identified him. Let me see if we can get this one closer. Do you see it right there in the palm? Just flew off. <laughs> we just reached the end of the catwalk itself. Let's see what the rest of this looks like. I always thought these things look like worms. Yeah. The little things. They yeah. look like a big pile of worms, right? Yeah. Wonder what causes those. Up in the tree. Whatever kind of tree causes those, I don't know. This is going to wrap up our visit here to Highlands Hammock State Park here in Sebring, Florida. Even if all you do is just that one trail, the Cypress Swamp Trail is amazing. It's the highlight of the park. That's the can't miss. So if you're here on limited time and you're not able to do every single trail, make sure you do that one. From our little stop inside the CCC Museum to the hammock uh, shop that they had. I can't remember what the name of it. it was. Hammock something. Hammock Inn. Hammock something. The orange pie was delicious, kind of tastes like key lime a little bit, but with an orange flavor. Similar consistency and stuff to it. That was excellent. And it was a couple of dollars for the slice, maybe three bucks or something. It's worth it to try it, especially if you got somebody else with you and you want to share it. Worth it. All right, so if you like this video, you like our theme, our uh, Florida State Park series videos, hit that subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed to our channel, because we got more state parks coming all the time. There's over 170 here in the state of Florida, and we're planning on hitting every single one. So you don't want to miss any. If there are some that you've missed previously and this is your first video, go back and hit that playlist. I'll also link the playlist at the end of this video. There will be a link there as well if you want to continue to hear my beautiful voice speak to you. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. What was your favorite part of our park visit today? Was there anything else that you liked besides the Cypress Swamp Trail? Let us know. Safe travels down the road, everybody. And as always, we'll see you soon.